Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Jamil Warney Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Jamil Warney, and we have a special guest, one of my best friends, one of my best, my favorite teammate ever. Um, a couple years in the G League together with the Texas Legends, <laughs> uh, Keith Hornsby. Yay! I, I'm holding the phone. I can't clap, but okay. You can't clap, man. How are you <laughs> doing today, Keith? Favorite teammate ever. Man, that's a – wow, I feel – you just made my day. As Don't you are one of mine. I mean, we always rag on each other, you know, joke on each other, but when it all comes down to it, yes, you're one of my favorite teammates as well. So glad to be on here, man. Don't worry, I'm gonna say that about every every guest of mine, even if we didn't play. <laughs> It'd be Tyrell. Well, I, take, I take back what I said. <laughs> I take back what I said. <laughs> I wish we had Kyle on this, but you know, fucking Kyle is. Uh, every time we talk about the podcast, he was just ignoring me. I mess him. He, go, like, he goes silent. He goes dark. <laughs> I know. I know he's. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Oh he's showing his true colors. He's what's showing up, his true what's colors. Up, Come on. Uh, so how how are you doing? Are you in Texas? I am in Texas right now. I'm not in Frisco though. Uh, Heidi, my wife, and I. For all the people who don't know, um, we uh, we rented an Airbnb for a month, kind of near downtown area. So oh, uh, in Dallas. And and da- yes, and in, in, in oh. near downtown Dallas. So yeah, but I, I am in Dallas. So yes, but it's not in uh, my normal place across the street from Dr Pepper or Comerica uh, Center. Oh, 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 that, that that was a great time. We'll, we'll get we'll get to that uh, sooner or later. Um, so me personally, you have you have a a great story to be honest. Um, your wingspan is shorter than an average human being. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't do nothing about that. The father, your father, the legendary Bruce Hornsby. I I hope whoever's listening to this know who that man is. Uh, not guaranteed at all. Not guaranteed, but, uh, but, but it's, if, it's possible. It's possible. If you heard that, uh, what, 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 what the two bucks on change? Well, that that's how he's connected to like our generation. Our generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hip, hip hop scene, yeah, changes by Tupac that he sampled my dad's song the way it is, and mm-hmm. that's how uh, people find out about him, and then they go from there. So, yeah, and then um, you had your own special story. You went to Oak Hill for all four years. No, no, they they only accepted me for two years for it. But 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 nobody on that the main team goes for more than three years on that team. Um, rare, rarely you'll get someone who starts as a sophomore and finishes. So I was lucky enough to do two though. So yes, I was an Oak Hill guy. Where did, where did you go to uh, the prior two years? Was your freshman sophomore year? Um, I went to a, a school maybe sim- similar to Roselle Catholic. Mm. By uh, it's called Hampton Roads Academy, and uh, it's, it was it was in uh, my area of Virginia, um, Newport News, uh, and uh, but yeah, and then I went to Oak Hill, and that kind of changed everything, shall I say? We we came up to New Jersey, played a bunch of teams near your way. We would have beat Roselle probably about sixty, I think. But you know, I, I, obviously, our our team, our team, Roselle Catholic is really good now. But my my few years, it was, it was kind it was kind of a struggle. We was like. We were like the neighborhood kids. <laughs> oh so, yeah, but y'all had fun. Y'all might, might have taken some L's, but you know, you yeah, we had, we had, had fun. fun we, we went to Alpha. But yes, out I, there. Was a, I was an Oak Hill guy. Yeah, wait. So uh, after your prior school, you played varsity the first two years. I'm assuming. I played actually since eighth grade. Oh yeah, I, 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 I got down some got that dumbass rule. Where you could like play varsity like. I, I should have played grade. JV though, because I was like five five, but I could I could shoot and uh, I had you know a little more skill than the the average freshman freshman or definitely eighth grader. So they uh, yeah they put me on varsity and and yeah, but but there are guys on JV who are probably you know better than me, looking at me like you know who's this guy, you know who he yeah. think he is. Yeah. I, I saw the I saw the one picture. Uh, I think you showed me it uh, a few years ago. Wait, you were like just swimming in your, in, in your jersey. Yeah, I would. Well, shoot, that, that could have been almost that could be any high school. I was a late bloomer physically. I was a late bloomer physically. Like even at my senior year in Oak Hill, we, I mean, we still had those big jerseys. But like, yeah, yeah. yeah no, ninth grade. Like I didn't start growing like a lot till I was about tenth or eleventh grade. Oh wow! So, yeah, man. yeah. And and think about it that way. My arms are even shorter then. So I uh, know. Just so you know, they could be. It's probably, it's probably proportional. It's probably proportional to your body back then, and then it just it just <laughs> grew, and then it just stays still. So, um, so wait, who was on your team? Uh, the Oak Hill. Let's go with your senior year. 
My senior year, uh, Quinn Cook was my point guard. Um, oh, yeah. with Ben McLemore as a shooting guard. I actually started. I did. I did. I, I earned that. And then um, we had Jordan Adams, who was UCLA, played with the yeah. He's, um, we had A.J. Hammonds. Oh, yeah, Purdue Boiler and Dallas Maverick legend. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 yeah we, we both know from that shared experience. Um, we had a guy, Damian Wilson, who went to Memphis. Um, we had uh, a guy who went to DePaul, R.J. Curran. I mean, we, we're, we're loaded. Yeah, though. you sound loaded. A lot, a lot, of, D1, uh, a lot of D1 athletes. Uh, we, we were loaded. And what was your what was your first scholarship? Was it uh, UNC Asheville or? It was UNC Asheville. Um, see, I will say one of the bad things about going to Oak Hill, everyone thinks you go there, you know, automatically you don't get, you know, mid to high D1. But actually yeah. for me, it, it, it hurt me because I was such a late bloomer. I just, I, I, I was not a high major body at that point. Um, like he, he and, and I look back at my games in, I'm like, dang, like I'm surprised any D1, you know, gave me a shot just from a kind of the look at me. Like I was such a baby face and like I get the ball, everybody picked me up full court, basically. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you but, know, but, but, um, but anyway, oh, okay. what I'm saying oh. is Asheville was my first my first offer and they were the most dedicated and I committed to them pretty early because I kinda the only schools that were coming to, to recruit OK were like Duke, North Carolina, yeah. Kentucky. So like if, if I'm not in that level, then I'm not going to be recruited any yeah, different. Recruit, yeah, yeah. So I, I wasn't my whole junior year. I, I was like sixth, seventh man. And I didn't get hardly any headway in recruiting. Really, I was, Furman was recruiting me a little bit. Davidson, uh, Navy, actually. Mm. <laughs> uh, but but Asheville was uh, my first offer before I went to Oak Hill. And they were I just decided I should probably play it safe and go there. And, and it was the right decision. That's, that's great to hear. Uh, and then you do two years there. Uh, I'm assuming were you on an all freshman team your freshman year? No, my freshman season Damn. I averaged four points a game. I oh, four, yeah. but, we, but we were we had like five senior starters and we made the tournament. We were I don't know if we could have beaten your Stony Brook teams. Oh hell, y'all, my, y'all, not y'all even close, not even loaded, close. But, but we played, you know. Uh, we were really good. We almost upset Syracuse, number one seed in the first round. That was a controversial game. But, no, nah, my freshman year, I only averaged like 11, 12 minutes a game and four points a game. My sophomore year is when I really, like, developed. That's great. I mean, I mean, obviously, I know the same thing. Like, I mean, I probably wouldn't know. But, um, like, you know, mid-majors is always – those guys are staying there all four years. So, you have to – you have to wait. You really have to wait your turn. You have to wait your turn. Yeah, it, well, and back then it was even less uh, you know, common for people to transfer. I mean, lots of times you see the transfer down to uh, yeah. not not a transfer up is, is less common. But um, oh yeah, those guys, the, like my the guys I was competing against were all Big South, you know, first team guys, really really good players, and I, I had no shot beating them out, and and they I just wouldn't have so. And you, you and uh, Lucas Woodhouse set the tone up. <laughs> the he's, around, he's around my sophomore year, and and they and yeah, I've I've a bone to pick with him because they knocked me out of the or knocked us out of the Big South tournament. They they're like a twelve seed, but but, oh, but yeah. Lucas I, Lucas could play. He was really good. He he was uh he was, was there. Was they, they had a snake, shall I say? And then he came to Stony Brook and was feeding meal in the post, watching him <laughs> do work. So um. At one point, did you realize you was going to transfer uh, to LSU? Uh, I I never went into Asheville intending to transfer, to be honest. I just didn't think it was a realistic possibility. But after my sophomore year, I had a real good season. Um, And my head coach resigned. And uh, I started started kind of getting some illegal feelers in from, Mm -hmm. like, high majors. And then – and I was like, well, you know, if if they're willing to – kind of have me like my, my then my imagination kind of ran wild and there's some things about Asheville that I just didn't really love I mean it's it's a great place but they don't really care about sports like you know yeah. it, it's a kind of liberal arts kind of hippie school art, artsy school which <laughs> which I, I like I like but like sport wise like you know what do you get if you get a chance to go to NC State or you know LSU or, or you know in any of these big schools and play in that scene, then it, you want that basketball pride. And yeah, yeah. Oh, there's there's something to that, and um, 
I eventually had that opportunity and it was tough. I, you know, I had all my, some of my best friends are Asheville having to leave them. And, and the new coach who was my assistant coach, that was incredibly tough because I was really close with him at the time. And he's now at middle Tennessee state, Nick McDevitt. But, um, yeah, so, so then I, I rolled the dice and kind of said, well, I'll have a sit-out year to develop and kind of get used to the, 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 the style of play and the, the level and then see how it goes. And I land on LSU after about a three-week recruiting process. Yeah, and then uh, you guys bring the, the number one recruit. <laughs> yeah, that, now that senior year is when I realized, like, life in the high majors. Like, we bring him in and then – and McDonald's All-American at my position, Antonio Blakeney, Miss Louisiana, Mr. Basketball in my position. I was like, dang, they, like, they try to replace you every year pretty much. Yeah, for sure. Was, I mean, that, that's the high major. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I know, like, the mid-major is, like, kind of just, like, family environment, just the high major. That's a, that's a business. I, I exactly, and I miss that about the the mid majors. I miss like the family. The, the the there's not there's more ego at high major. There's yeah, more yeah, yeah. Donnas and you know. I, and, I, it, I miss, and then I once you once you once you once you get high major, once you get high major, you get, once you get high major, you got the parents emailing the coach talking about you got you have illegal agents talking about yo he's a top agents, five dick, he got to play. Like you have AAU coaches stepping in. Man, let me see practice. I know he good, you know. Like, yeah, like see? Kind of and stuff. Uh, yeah, that uh, – I mean, I, I I like my LSU teammates, but it was, it was just a different dynamic. Um, but, yeah, and, and then Ben comes in and changes pretty much everything about mm. everything. <laughs> for better and for worse, to be honest. I don't think anyone was ready for that type of attention at that point. Um, it, it was LSU basketball program, I don't think. And they yeah. – but uh, but you know, hey, what, what you gonna, what you gonna, not accept the number one talent? I mean, no, you you got to, you have yeah. to, for better for worse. So I mean, you guys, I'm pretty. You guys start off well, right? I'm pretty sure. I, I was watching. I, I I watched some of it, and uh, yeah, I mean, what, like you know, that year, what good thing was almost every game was like nationally televised. Nationally televised, yeah, yeah. That, that was that was awesome. Um, but uh, now we started off terrible, actually. Um, and I'm not going to say it's because I was hurt, but I was kind of like a senior glue guy on that team. I mean, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say glue guy. I was second leading scorer, but like, I, I, I was like the, you know, no, senior if, 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 if you guys, guys, if, if you guys, the guys who got very leadership, then yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I could have done better for sure, for sure. But, um, yeah, we, we started doing well once SEC play started, we, we were, Went to nine and two at one point, and we were tied for first. Um, and uh, that was it all hell that, was of that year. And then, and then I got hurt again, uh, and that finished my season. And then you saw me in Mavs camp when I was still recovering from that injury, when I couldn't even play summer league or or compete live at the first part of that. Uh, that yeah. Wait, what what did, what, did, uh, what did you injure? Uh, I, I I tore my groin tendon. Um, um, Mm -hmm. Which is like, and then I kept aggravating it because it's a weird injury. Um, yeah. You think you're good, but then oh, it tells you, no, no, you're not, right? Right when you're almost <laughs> back yeah. to it. But anyway, we, we end up collapsing at the, at the end and denied an NIT bid. And Ben was out. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I remember, um, not, the rub, not the rubbing in your guys' face, but uh, when um, we went to the tournament and um, I, I, had, I, had, I had 43, I'm pretty sure. And uh, then yeah, you guys play the same exact day, and I'm pretty sure you guys have 41 as a team in the SEC tournament. Yeah, yeah, but we, Alex Caruso, Jalen Jones, and uh, all of them, they they beat the brakes off of us. I, uh, I just had was uh, Tyler Davis on that team too. Tyler Davis is on that team. Um, Daniel House. Oh yeah, you guys. I mean, I mean, they're oh. stacked. They're they're loaded. I mean, they're a Sweet 16 team that year, but uh, but you know, we weren't that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, I um. I, I just had surgery, and I was watching that game, like, you know, half awake, like, half half all there, just, like, in disbelief at, like, how horrible we, we looked. But then at, at that, after that, I was like, yeah, we, we should just lay this this thing to rest. Like, ain't, ain't no use. I mean, because nobody would have wanted to play the NIT. And, and Ben was, was out, too. He had checked ben, out. Ben, ben was, ben, he was going to fight fake an injury before he even fucking tried to touch the NIT, Ben. You know, 
some random place and play. Yeah, it just it just wasn't in the cards that year. But but now I remember I remember you. I remember you. I mean, you know, you were the talk talk of the the mid majors that year. Oh uh, yeah. Well, that's why. That's why your name's in the Raptors jersey. Mm, right, right, right there, man. Jersey finest. So I mean, I think the best part about probably LSU was um you met your, you met your wife there, right? Heidi. Is, uh, yeah, there you, go. you, you got to tell that story. You have to tell that story. All right. Well, well. First of all, she, I met her plenty of times, and she didn't even know who I was until. <laughs> uh, to her credit, she had a boyfriend at, at the first year, my sit out year. He was well, she, uh, she was thankful. I love it. She she was she was and she's from Lafayette, Louisiana, which is an hour west of Baton Rouge. Um, but she uh, but then she became a Tiger Girl, um, which is the, the basketball dancers, and um, and so we started being at more events and stuff. And you know, and I started talking to her. She probably thought I was a walk on, you know, you know, like mm-hmm. a, it, yeah. I it, it was before my junior year, um, before so I was never played yet. Um, but yeah, like we we started talking and stuff and getting to know each other. Then the season started, and I always mess with this. It's not because I started doing well that she started liking me. I promise. No, that I was I was like that that white dude who was getting buckets, kind of like oh, instantly become more attractive. Oh yeah, he does. I'm not, you, I, I don't you, want you to see, you see more attractive scoring ten points more. <laughs> oh, uh, but, you look but more attractive with Ben Simmons to throw you a quarter three, and you're just catching it out. You said what? I said, <laughs> you look more attractive when Ben Simmons is throwing you a corner pocket three ball and you make yeah, it. This is a year before that when I, you know, I'm with Josh Gray and Tim Corden. Oh, Josh Gray. You had a lot which, of, which, had a lot of good there. players. In. Still there my senior year, too. But, yeah. um, but oh, yeah, yeah, that's Josh Gray with yours. Jeez. But, but, yeah, I, I met her down there, you know, all su- southern thing, you know. Mm. It, it never went back. Never went never, back. Never, never, never looked, looked back. back. Uh, and, and yeah, we've been going strong from, from then on. And, uh, yeah, and that's, yeah, she's my Louisiana sass thing is always mm, little, little, little sassy Walker. Oh, so, yeah. As you know, yeah, every, everyone who follows me knows. So, yeah. So, um, after your time at LSU, you become a pro. What, what, what's that, what's that experience like? Well, uh, you were there with me my first year at the Legends. That was oh, there. I was there. I was there on every step of the way. <laughs> that was that, that was that was extremely difficult for me. I think uh, after the Mass training camp, I was a little delusional about the reality of Same what here. to expect. Same fucking here. Yeah, yeah, but but you had success right away from the start in the, in the G League, whereas me, I went from training camp to inactive. <laughs> not yeah. even not like scrapping for minutes and then I, I had no idea what to expect I just I you know some some people just don't understand I mean G League's very situational anyways but um I had a rude awakening that first year and it kind of woke me up now our roster was stacked now uh, that, that, it, it, it was just it was just constant uh new player new NBA player ex-NBA player I remember we had the one boy I'm just like <laughs> we're, we're the same fucking person <laughs> We, we had Dewan Blair, you know Ben Gordon, uh, Gary Neal for a few games that year. I mean, what, our, our roster was endless. Tony, I, 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 rem- I remembered. Um, so I mean, we got spoiled the first. But we we we, we, just, we get cut, so we're like, oh, we're gonna fucking go to the G League and dominate. Yeah, and I mean, you don't like, realize that. And it went well in Mavs camp though. Our green squad, our, our yeah, you know, green kicking squad ass, get in and we would like do work, you know. So we're thinking if we can do this against NBA players, you know. The G League shoe, that's you know, and not not gonna lie, I was like G League, you know, no defense. They don't, you know, they they just trying to get off, you know, like the typical thing that people. I mean, believe. I mean granted, the the Mavs was probably the worst team that year. Yeah, yeah, and our young legs didn't go yeah. well. The, the, they they, you know, they, they couldn't move. Calcified vets legs, you know, like we, we they probably they hated playing against us. I'm oh sure. my god! I remember, um, I remember, well, I was playing, I was playing well to camp, and then. Uh, one day, D. Will like stuck his, his foot out. This is unintentionally, but like, and they fucking high ankle sprain out for like four weeks. And I got I got to go through training camp. I'm like I can't move. And, like I got to play, you got to play. And then they cut me. I'm like you could have done this like a week and a half ago. Yeah, that, that that was just unlucky. That was unlucky for sure. Um, but you know, but it, you know, they probably had their mind up anyway. Yeah, sure. you already know. We were just we were just a filler. We were just, yeah, we're just bodies, damn. but they, they they're nice to have us along, and and we and we tried. You know, we 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 scrapped. Um, but 
But then the, the, the Texas Legends comes, and, oh, and Texas I, think, Legends. I think for you that was a uh, that was big. It was it was a blessing for you, I think. For and, and maybe it was for me in a different way because it forced me to to really bear down and like, well, if I'm gonna if 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 I'm gonna have any type of career, I'm gonna have to find a way to do well in the G League. Yeah. Situation because after that first year for me, no overseas teams wanted me. And yeah. the only option I had, which was to come back to the Legends for a second year, which I didn't want to do because I thought it was going to be a repeat of the first year, which is me, you know, struggling for 15 minutes a, a game. And you, you, know, you, had a, of, you, had, you had a you had a lot of inactive. I remember it used to be between you and Sotnam saying. That was at the beginning of the year. The whole second half of the year, I played a lot more, um, but but still not not like much i mean i averaged like four points a game that year too and and it was tough like my shot was in a transition i changed my shot because my i was if you see my lsu shot i ain't ain't shooting no nba three that way yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, remember, I remember it looked bad but i mean you transition yeah, 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 over the, sure. I, I remember you used to come in the game i'm like pass me the fucking ball do not even look at you and then the second year i'm like ah, i shoot the ball a little bit and then before i got traded i'm like oh he is shooting the shit out this ball what well uh well, um, well, it got better over the years. I mean, by the third year, I, I really kind of had it down. Um, who, who, who would you credit that to? Uh, the coach staff on the Legends or, like, just your <laughs> – I credit that to myself and, and maybe my dad. Uh, but but my who dad – Who would you credit that to? A lot, you know, but, but really, really myself. I mean, I, I really – no, not not the staff. I like the staff, but you know, look, let, let's just say, like, you know, the G League's supposed to be developmental, but I didn't really feel that too much. So, the so, development so, side, so I felt you, worked more with guys who they thought were had potential to be called yeah. up, and I can't blame blame them necessarily for that. Oh, no, sure. Like you know, I'm trying to get better too, and I was always having to ask. Or, you know, people to help me out. So, so you tell me. So really you tell me. <laughs> so you tell me you didn't like the um, the five four three two one. <laughs> yeah, I forget. You know, I, I briefly forgot we're, about that. We're, yeah. we're, we're get your own rebound. I was at every one though, I was at every single one. I think you were too, though. You were at. Every I was. One. I was uh, until I was just shooting fifteen for I'm like, uh, I mean, it's not. It's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, but you, but you you got a, a three ball by the third year, and I think that. I mean, sure. Not, it, it, the second year was the second year was good. The third year, ah, oh, do you want do you want a fast move in the third year of the shit show, or do you? <laughs> we go in chronological order, but we, we have to talk about that third year. We, yeah, yeah, for sure. That the, the five. I mean, look, I that that didn't hurt. The five, four, three, two, one. You, it's still yeah. shots, but it's you know, it's me. I, I like to have drills with pressure in it, like you know, yeah. hit five in a row or hit eight out of ten or something because that, that that makes it more game like to me yeah. um but those reps they, they didn't hurt but I, I wouldn't call them a difference maker in the they development distant. so um the second year i feel like that was both of our bet like the third year you shot the ball well but like the second year i felt like you played well because you had a lot more reps and we was we was kicking teams ass it was what it was you me motley ba uh you you kind of like to put any any guard in that position. We had like Willie Warren at one time. We had uh, Sloan. Um, oh, we lost him for a second. Oh God. I had, I had to. Yeah, here we go. All right, can you hear me? Um, I had I had a, a spam call. Um, Ooh, fucking spammers. But 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 yeah, that I love that team. But remember, I was you were killing that year. That oh, was, yeah. That, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you the the <laughs> Huh? Kendrick Perkins, I forgot. Was that me or Kendrick Perkins who hit you with a screen and your fucking shoulder went to your hip? Hey, it, he wasn't involved. It, it was, it was, uh, I was guarding London Parentis or Parentis or something like that. And, and, and I, it was a bad pass. He threw the ball, I think. He threw the ball. And so he, he was a cause. Kendrick Perkins, yeah. Fucking That's crazy. But, and, fucking and I missed real- that whole. <laughs> In YouTube, because that was a battle, battle of the big bodies back oh then. Oh my god, battle! <laughs> oh, he was so bad. So I mean, so I, wait, I, I forget. How long was you out for? You, you were out for the rest of this year. I know you wasn't. I, I, I was supposed to be, but I yeah, chose. Brazilian. I was out for 
two months from December and January. But uh, but before that, I was playing really well. And it was like kind of an encouraging sign for me. Like, well, if I keep down this road, you know, it's who knows what could happen, kind of. Um, but that injury hurt, the shoulder injury. Um, but then I watched and then Wade Baldwin came in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but, but y'all were in January were killing, like really working. I, I, I don't think we lost a game, to be honest. Um, and then yeah. And, and then when I came back, my first game back, we lost two in a row, and y'all would not let me forget about it. <laughs> but y'all, y'all, y'all made me feel like crap, man. Yeah, you were in the restaurant after the game in Iowa, Des Moines, and y'all, y'all like, dang, Keith, why don't you stay hurt? Like you, you kryptonite, like <laughs> you and 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 you and B A and yeah, B A was oh B A used to let you have it. Oh, he used to let uh, yeah, not, me and him. I mean, he's. We're cool now, but like back then, there was some old. T- I used to, I used to, I, it was so much touch. I used to, I used to live off used, that used shit. Used to be oh. able to take that shit to different levels, but like um, smacking your but, ears but, but, and shit. you up, and you and you became a different person around him too. I used to be tight. Used oh, yeah. to be on, used to be on me too. I'm, um, I'm, I'm thick as shit. Everyone know that when the when around some guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, keep. <laughs> But it, it, anyway, so, so then, but then the rest of that year, like, because you then you finally got the call up, and then we, uh, but I finally well. started playing, like getting back to my old stuff and, and finished the year like really strong. Um, and you, but you guys, you guys played great. I remember watching there for when I was in the 10 day, you guys were playing great. JJ had like a triple double, like, you guys were like, just kicking team ass. Well, but, but JD was towards Achilles, he was no, out. JJ. We oh J, oh J oh JJ yeah yeah oh, J, JJ was great I mean you know JJ gets a lot of minutes he's gonna do uh, he, he, he's gonna, he gonna produce he's gonna produce but but we had a roster on paper you think would be you know doo doo like bottom yeah. of the I, I was like oh I was like oh yeah we're not making the playoffs now we, had, so we, we, we were fighting to get into the playoffs at that point uh, Jordan Downing coming off the bench but like, oh yeah and then, but uh, we uh, but we, we definitely. Scrapped. We scrapped him, and we and we, as you can see, if you have a a team like that in the G League, sometimes, you know, the hard work can beat the talent. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and that's what happened. And then you came back, and then we. So that was that was a, that was a good overall year for sure. Yeah, and then third the third year. I mean, no, no, we go before. So you were you on the Trailblazer some league that year or the year after? Before the year won? after. Um, that so what, that year that year I didn't. I try. I wanted to play summer league, but I I couldn't get anything. So oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm miss. I'm missing a year. Yeah, Orlando uh, Magic, fucking Orlando summer league champions, baby. <laughs> yeah, the the last year of it too. Came yeah, on top, went out on top, and our and our team was loaded. We were loaded, loaded. Fucking Practice. great coaching staff. Fucking, we were just loaded. I mean, look, like I I I like went into that thinking like, well, I. I knew I wasn't gonna get much time on that team, and even, and then you had left to go to Vegas. Uh, I I wish I would have stayed for that last game. I fucking <laughs> with <wish>. the Clippers. <laughs> the Clippers fucked me. Oh, they fucked me. I know. I remember thinking like, damn, why are they doing my man meal like that? Like they, y'all had like eighteen players. We had like eighteen bigs. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I'm like, but, but, I, 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 I should have that, that, that was that was fun. I mean. They re- they re- brought back Sotnam for the team. Oh, brought, oh, it was you, me, my uh, Christian Wood, who was godlike. Yeah, uh, uh, they, had, they, had, they had Dwight Bu- Buick, Buck, whatever his name was. Dwight Bikes, uh, Bikes Brandon Paul, Brandon Paul. Uh, oh, my boys, uh, China the, Legend, uh, Ding 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 Ding. ding. Yeah, our boy Ding. Uh, we had Cat Barber. Um, we had guys. Yeah, and then and we, we were like kicking teams ass too. I know five, five and zero, oh, bam, like that's that, that's it. Like get him out of there, get him, get him out of there, get, get out, out of there. Let's, 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 let's get some food now. Let's let's fucking let's go chill at the hotel. Uh, Pierre, we little Pierre Jackson and Luke Kennard and the oh yeah yeah I beat the Pistons in the finals yeah yeah yeah. And so so yeah that that was a good experience for me overall. Um, I mean, I, I didn't play all that much, but when I did play, I played well. And then, um, but then that you know, it didn't do anything at all for me. It, it, it literally does. It literally does nothing. I, as I found out, yes. Unless, unless you just straight up yeah, chill. 
It's so it's so it's so delusional, like how we were. We're like, oh, if I if I get thirty five points it's right 30. now, <laughs> like you're not league, bro. You just like, I mean, you know, you you, you can't say you never know. Like yeah, but but you you have you, you have you have to go like that. You have to you have to attack like you. Any day might happen. To keep you going every day, to keep you working yeah. and staying uh upbeat for sure. Um. So yeah, so, so then yeah, you, we forgot that, but then then we go into third year. Oh, the third, oh, the third year, third year made me hate basketball. I was like, I'm going overseas after this, man. I was like, I'm done with this shit. Yeah, I was like, I remember. Yeah, it, it, that was that was a tough one. That was a tough one. That that year, to be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you right now because I thought after that second year maybe I could get some overseas because I'm yeah. playing better, and. <laughs> Hey, a little bit of it was the agency situation. I was with Excel. I was I had a, an agent who now doesn't even do basketball anymore. He does great yeah. golf. Um, little did I know that at the time. But but I had nothing again, and these off seasons were miserable. Like there there was this endless <laughs> point. And then I went into that third legends year like in disbelief that I was actually coming back here a third year. Like yeah. uh uh because they, you know, once again they reload, and hey, you know, they, re- they reload the fuck. Reload, um, they, they reload it up in the worst way too. I, exactly, just just n- almost like no research on on who who's who, like how how the personalities are, how they can mesh. Just like yeah. it, it was something, but um, I, I remember um, KP wanted me to go to wanted me to go to Delaware. I'm like I'm like nah, man. I I, I trust. The yeah. coach who I, would, who I would not say I I, I trust him like, but, but in my opinion you should have because he gave you every opportunity and, and that but you deserve because I, you I mean pulled. to be honest my first year I had to work for the opportunity because he once Quincy AC and them came he was like ah, I don't want you come off the bench <laughs> you're losing it <laughs> you're losing it <laughs> the second he was like you're losing I'm like coach why I fouled out yeah, but, but that's at least like he was yeah yeah okay. So I, I I get what, but I get why you would come back for a the third year because yeah. you know I, I was losing I, I had that ten day I was like ah oh, like I'm hungry. Yeah, exactly and you're on the cusp and you're like well well you never this is probably where like why why would I risk it going somewhere else I know yeah. probably probably here I could uh yeah do what I have been doing and we'll see um now me I'm like man this could be a repeat of my first year for all I know just giving off. The, you know, favors, politics, you know, I just had no idea. Well, that politics hurt. And also, going into that, I was like, man, I'm sick of this. Like, I'm this is going to be my last year playing, I was said, going yeah. in here, because I'm like, this is just, this is not even fun. Like, the off seasons, I can't get anything. I don't know what more I can do. Like, let me just try to enjoy this last season, and then, and then that's it, move on. Um, and and actually, that year happened to be by far my yeah, best year. <laughs> and then you know gave me some other opportunities but uh even even though it was, mentally it was, mentally it was it, it was it was empty stats because we were bad yeah we, we were we were one in two and 21 on the road we was one and we was two i keep saying we i was a part of like uh hey, you were there for about 10 of those losses we, we beat we beat san antonio we beat austin at like their place and we beat uh we beat uh, Santa Cruz, and every other road game we lost. Yep, yep, and that that was uh, so we lost for three months straight on the road. And look, yeah. I don't care where you're at, like that's that ain't fun. Like, I, 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 remember, I remember you guys on like on, the, on like a twenty five, not not twenty five. It was like a, a ten game losing streak, like a eleven game losing streak, and your your win <laughs> to snap the streak is <laughs> against me with the Westchester Knicks. Best belief, best win ever. Oh, I was so fucking, I was sick. Ah, oh. yeah, you, you wouldn't even look at me in the line too. After oh that. my god, I, I, I didn't want to look at that slimy. Co- I, he was like, "Good game." I'm like, I'm like, fuck you. Like, oh my, god. oh, was, you like you guys are really talented. Like, let's stop. You guys are talented as shit. We, we had and we had uh, like Wade Baldwin came back in. That was before we got Gary Trent, I think. Um, yeah, no, nah, you had uh, Wade Baldwin. You just got uh, Reyes from the trade for me. And uh, yeah. so I had Swanigan. Swanigan. And then 
You had JD, JD gave us like 25. I'm like, oh my God. And JD was there. He was there for like six games. And that was and, like. And, and Xavier, Xavier had like that, that fucking. He, he was like, the fuck? He's not better than me. He was like trying to go at me hard. I'm like. like X, XRM? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking about Johnson. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I yeah, someone, told me, someone told me he was like, yeah, no, nah, X was talking mad shit about you after the game. Like, yeah, he can't fucking like they they'll put him over me. I'm like, you fucking suck. That that's that's not a uh, well that that's not fair for him to do that. I mean, you 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 had you had proven yourself endlessly. Like I was, it, I was a endless games of success where like how can you still say oh he ain't like that? Like it's uh, that, that 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 ain't earned for me, but um, but the, but that that win for sure was a uh, oh that 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 changed your season around to losing more. Well, well, that. well, you know, we had a few more wins, but really it was more misery, like of of of, of losses, pretty much. But that uh, that that was a tough team. That 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 was, but but for me, I shot, I led the league Good. in three point shooting that year, forty nine percent. Did you uh, give? Some credit to that to uh, Connor. I'm pretty sure Connor helped you out a lot that year. Con- yeah, Con- and he did after the season too. Uh, yeah. But I, uh, yeah, that that's my man Connor. He we we worked a whole lot, and I credit him a ton because we did this great routine before the each game. Like he'd contest. He he was really he was really just the best, pretty much. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I will credit him to that for sure. The one thing that. Like you're my guy. Like I love you. The one thing that used to piss me off, like when I used to like warm up, you used to, like you used to come out of nowhere and start shooting like right right next to me. Like, <laughs> like can you, give me two more minutes. I'm about to be fucking done. You're like, no, <laughs> what the fuck? no. Hey, I don't care about you. Got to get mine. <laughs> I'm <I'll> leave. <laughs> that's what that's what happens when you give a dude like me. You know, he starts scoring some points. And he, he, uh, he thinks he can do new things. He you know, like. do new things. Nah. Well, do you have any good stories from uh, those three years? I mean, I know like people like hearing the funny stories about the G League. I mean, we had plenty of funny stories. Um, I mean, God, it's just it's just it, it endless. Endless. I think I think I think the funniest might be like or top three was <laughs> after our first year. Uh, we played a we played a OKC Blue so. <laughs> we're, all, we're all we're all on the bus after the game. Tom Lipsing haven't said any words to us the whole year, and then he sent us a long fucking text message saying like, "Thank guys for making me better this year. Like I appreciate you guys. If you guys need me over the summer, just hit my phone." And then after the message, you see everyone leaving the group chat. <laughs> well, I, I forgot all about that, man. God, that dude. Uh, well, first of all. He was in constant. He did not deal with uh, not playing well at all. Oh, you were tying through the chairs around like the like well, well, wait. There was one time after um after shoot around like a shoot around, and he had it was me and him that was inactive, which is typical for that first part of that year. Yeah. But he, each time he was he was so bummed that he was. But so it, it got to this point of eruption, pretty much. <laughs> after uh, after um. After a shoot around, y'all left, and then I had to do this workout, like you know, uh, to stay in shape, pretty much. And then he, had, and then Coach Mack had went over and delivered the news to him that he was not going to be back. <laughs> and when I say I've never heard a sound like this come from a <laughs> being, it sounded like a cannon shot, like a voice, like a boom, <gasps> like just like like it, it, it went throughout the whole stadium of him just erupting in anger. And, and I, I was like, what was? How is someone going to react to that? Like Coach Mack surprisingly. Didn't even do that much. I figured he, he could snap. Uh, but then, but then, and so, so that was, I've never seen a, a seven. I, I remember because snap like that. But then, but also remember CJ Williams. Oh, oh the, yeah. In, in, in the field oh, house. How was our, our first week there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, God. You my all. Oh. <laughs> you gotta tell that story. That's, that story is hilarious. I uh, one day CJ was a little moody. It was the first like two weeks of training camp, and it, 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 it was only the first. It was only the first week. I know. Uh, Coach Mack was a, uh, you know, he he could get on you in practice for sure, and sometimes it didn't seem fair for sure. I mean, he, you remember second year? God damn it, Keith! Like, God, whole, you're a goddamn it, Keith. <laughs> 
be on my ass. That's that second year, which is I almost almost deserved it because I was I thought he didn't you know pay me the first year, but second year is like okay oh, here. We go. Uh, oh, yes. But but anyway, so so CJ had um, not di- like dived in the ball for a, a loose ball, and Coach Mack, of course, old school, didn't like that. Fucking got it. Day. CJ Finally. woke up on the wrong side of the bed that morning. wasn't feeling it. Then the then the mouse started chirping. Mm-hmm. Then then we had we had a water break. CJ and him were still going after it. Then Coach Mack said, "Get out of here." <laughs> uh, and CJ didn't want to go quietly, so CJ is like, you know, well, well, I ain't going nowhere. So <laughs> then, then they started getting after it, and then like they started raising their voice to the point where they might have had a physical altercation. Like they're I, coming I, up. I, to I, I, I think you're missing some point. I think um, uh, CJ went to the other side of the court. He went to the, like the side with no, like it was dark. Yeah, I, but I think this was after they had, you know, bumped. No, 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 it was before. So it, was, it led to that part. So. Pat Miller, our point guard for the first year, the child's off to CJ, and Mac is like, Pat, get your ass over here. <laughs> You're right. He's like, and then CJ's like, yo, what the nigga want from me, man? I'm trying. And then <laughs> CJ's like, man, I can't, I can't deal with this dude. You're like, I, like, I, now I'm done with this dude, man. Get, get him the hell out of here. And then Mac, like, the thing, like, gets so close, and then. <laughs> Mac yeah, tripped yeah. like headbutt CJ. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so we made the whole story about how CJ punched the coach for the whole year. Yeah, uh, for sure. But then he, uh, but then Coach Mac after that that hit, he, uh, had a <laughs> he reacted like with fists up, like he was ready to swing. And I was like, I was like, well, I could tell that he had a military bra- background. He seemed yeah. the type that you know he'd have some like you know dad old man strength kind of you know like. So, so it's like pure instinct took over, mm-hmm. and like he, like something had woken up from him from the old days or something like that. Because he he had gotten into the stand, he was ready to roll. And mm-hmm. then uh, CJ oh. went. He's probably in disbelief. Like tears were coming up. He's like, you know, it's like the snotty nose. I'm giving you my best. I'm giving you my best, coach. And then <laughs> like, you know, coach, coach, coach Z was like trying to grab. Oh, it was a, it was a shit show. That was that was unbelievable. I don't know if we continue practice that day or not. But then we came back later on, and Coach Mack had the little yeah, the uh, video was that. yeah, yeah. And then and then they had like they had uh, made up, and they're they're all good. I mean, because they had they were obviously close. You know, they had uh, had a whole year together before, so that that was that was crazy. Um, I mean, I don't know. Each year, it's just it, 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 it shows the G League is really unpredictable. <laughs> It, it, it unpredictable and, and like, look, there's 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 a lot of good things that are about the G League, and one thing is you you always find some entertainment for sure. Yeah. So after after you three years in the G League, uh, which seemed like forever, you go overseas. Uh, <laughs> you went to you went to Poland first, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, I did. But I was summer league with the Blazers. Um, Blazer, that, yeah. And uh, that was that was the last time, the the last moment where I was like. You know, I think I'm just done with all this. Yeah. I, I had killed in that training camp. Like, I had really went there and, like, played out of my mind. And I had been working so hard to, to get up to this level and to maintain what I – the momentum I kind of carried from the end of the previous season. And uh, and I was saddled to the bench. I'm like, this is so political. Like, this is unbelievable. Like, <laughs> like what's, what's even the point? Like, uh – as dudes are promised playing time, and we had a good roster. All the summer league rosters were good, but I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, some of the young guys still on the Blazers. And, and, and we, uh, and and we had not even. Um, so when we got to Vegas, we didn't even we didn't practice or do anything other than the games. And so there'd be times then when I wouldn't play, I wouldn't touch a ball or do anything for like four days straight. Mm. Eventually, you know, and I'm trying to be ready for my moment. Eventually, I, you know, I asked some of the staff, you know, hey, can I get some shots up court, like you know. Like, come on, like, we'll, we'll try. Of course, I never heard from him. Yeah. So, so I would I would Uber to uh, to a L.A. Fitness or something. Oh. Uh, 6 a.m. That's that's how desperate I was to, like, do something. That's and a grind. 24-hour fitness. Like, I, I would call in advance, like, when is it least crowded? And, and, I, and I, I had to do that the whole time thinking, like, this is my last time I'm ever here. Yeah, yeah. I got to do this. This is crazy. Um. But uh, but then so then you know I barely touched the floor that time. Um, and then after that I uh, 
I went to Poland. And even even after hold on, sorry, even after that year in the G League and even being on summer league, I could hardly get anything overseas. Yeah. Cause they, they don't respect the G League overseas. For sure. You know, Europe, um Europe Europe does football, that at all. You, know, you, you, know, you you gotta prove that you can do it over here first before yeah. you get any love. And that's that's fine. Okay, okay. Yeah, you gotta grind for it. Okay, fine. Um but eventually that Poland thing came and it was a, a huge blessing for that year. I mean, I, I got to play in the two leagues and um and it was kind of like my I don't know, a, a tryout phase for like better bigger opportunities, even though my team was solid. But uh yeah, and then I went to Poland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you went to Korea. Korea. But um what, what was your what was your what was your team sponsored by again? Polish sugar. <laughs> Polski, Polski Kukia Torin. Mm. Oh, oh, and their nickname was the Hard Gingerbreads. The Tvar de Pierniki. <laughs> the Hard Gingerbread. That's and, uh, right. Can't, yeah, the, the, po- the sugars, they say. Polish sugar. And, uh, best gingerbread you ever have in your life. The best. Did you have it? Bread. Mm. Are, you, are you saying that from uh, Spanish or are you saying that off of the reputation? Off of experience. Oh, off, off of experience. For sure. Now, that's where gingerbread was pretty much originated in my town I was in. Oh, in, in your hood? In, in my in Torin, yeah, my, my hood for the year. So it uh yeah, that that was that was a, an added bonus to it all. Uh, and then what what was your what was you guys uh record that year? Well, we played Champions League and we were not equipped for Champions League. We were horrible in Champions League. We were two yeah. two and twelve. <laughs> Dude, but what? Jesus we, Christ, we had cost it. We had some. We didn't have depth, and we lost S. Big, who was really good. Um, and we were just getting manhandled on the boards and just, just out, out played, out coached everything. Um, but we play. We're playing some like big European teams in our group. Um, and I was like, and, and, but but for me it was a trial, and I did I did really well that year. Um, average almost seventeen. In BCL and but I it was the first time I really got I really got an opportunity like yeah. all the years in the legends I had plays drawn for me I had an ability to get off sometimes and that was big that was big I never even when I was starting and playing a lot of minutes for the legends I was fifth starter you know I was yeah. standing mm-hmm. in the corner lots of times use that if, if they leave your guy if you leave me in the corner you shoot it. Yeah, yeah, or luckily, yeah, I would watch Jamil, you know, do his and, little... And that's, and, little and, 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 and and Bob had the inflation where, so we were shooting like 90 times a game, and you would get like five or six shots, which, so if you put that in like regular game speed, you're getting like three, three or four, so... Yeah, pretty much it, but basically not not in the same level. Um, but then yeah. in the league, which you played simultaneously, we were first for a lot of the year, we're like... But then once COVID hit, we'd kind of hit a little skid, and we're yeah. we're fifteen and five at the end. But um, yeah. So and then then COVID hit. <laughs> and COVID hit. Crazy. And uh, so obviously, I mean, COVID was tough for a lot of us. What did you do during uh your quarantine for fucking nine years, pretty much? Man, I uh, did a whole lot of nothing. I I I did a lot of puzzles. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was, I was at life. Um, we, uh, I mean, we were in Virginia. Uh, we went down to the beach a little bit. We, we did a lot of like cycling and stuff. I didn't, I didn't touch a ball for a while. Um, and then, yeah, just, just try to come up with things to do at home all day. Like everybody yeah. did much. Um, I didn't do too much special. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's COVID. No one could really do anything. I mean, a lot of people start going outside, which is, the government told you not to do. But I mean, people, people yeah, like fuck I, it. I mean, we did that a good bit. I mean, we're just trying to, you know, yeah, figure out things to fill up our day. Pretty much, it was uh, it was long. And then, when did you get the uh, BBL contract? Uh, I actually got it really early. I got it in April, <laughs> which Ooh. is would never happen obviously because they'd be playing. Yeah. Normal. Ends. But yeah, I thought like, look, this is it checks off a lot of boxes. I was hoping to to you know to check off for this next season that I thought I earned. It was a good step up for the team, and uh, 
yeah, I was like, well, we'll see. The German league is is good, and and I was supposed to play Euro Cup that year, but they decided after I signed to to not play. I was, <laughs> I was hot. I was hot, but like, but I but you can't argue with that because you know with all it was yeah, all, 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 all that travel and shit. Yeah, and like having to travel and test all the time. I I, I got it, and you know, financial uncertainty kind of. Um, so, so yeah, and also going to Germany in COVID, the most stable, you know, stable. country. Like you, you don't have to deal with this in Korea. I know that much. Like, but in Poland, there are some late payments. You know. Uh, oh yeah. I, I I end up I got I've gotten all my money, but it. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it, it took, took it, a year and a half. <laughs> In Germany, you don't have to check your bank account. Like you know, you're getting it. Like and that's oh, and that's for, big. And that was at the time of financial uncertainty for the teams. It was big that I could be in a place where I didn't have to worry about that. Yeah. And uh, and also a good team to compete for a championship. And we didn't quite get it, but we we were good. We we're good. Yeah. Place third in the league. And um, I know I know a couple a couple guys who was in your league and like you, you all you, you guys all was kicking ass. I was like, holy shit! Well, yeah, your boy Jalene Smith from a uh, yep, American Smith fucking MVP. MVP. Yeah, he uh, and and with with a great team. Um, so yeah, he's who knows what he's trying to do. Maybe I think he's trying to get some NBA looks. But whatever he goes, he'll get a good opportunity. Also, he was on the team. Um, I think a year prior to have my guy. Yeah. He sees. Oh yeah, yeah. As a uh, as as they all said, the smartest dumb guy they ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they 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 talked about him a lot. They 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 said some good. I mean, they said he's a good player, but they said like he got he's had some bad luck with injuries. They said he's the only guy who was happy when he got injured because he could chill and like. <laughs> the drill sergeant, man, y'all y'all run him out the gym. But but see that's the thing like we uh we um yeah we practice hard for sure um not overly so but like it was it definitely weighs on you eventually um and, and you know it's a it's a long season like European season is too long in my opinion yeah so where are you and Heidi off to next well we will we'll be going where you just went. <laughs> you just went and seemed to really enjoy you and Carolina, so we we we're, we're going to Paris. Ooh, make yeah. make sure you ask Caroline for all the all the advice and tips. I mean, it seemed like she was a uh, y'all are both you know loving each and every moment. So, I mean, did you enjoy your your visit? Oh yeah, I loved it. I, I would play there if I could, but I mean, you already know I'm Korea bound. Well, when you get in the Korea Max, I don't think anything compa- compared to that. <laughs> yeah, nah. I saw, I saw shit on Twitter. I'm like, hold up. Don't fucking, don't fucking tell people how much I'm making. What the fuck? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's, that was hilarious. Yeah, that, that's, that doesn't normally happen. But, but you know, but I'll just say this way. You're not going to see that much in, uh, in, in France, unless you're with the EuroLeague team, as you but um, Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, so, but it was, you know, for me, it was a significant raise even over last year. So, I, uh. And also, you know, with Heidi expecting our first okay. child. Yeah. 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 I mean, she's uh, it's a great place, I think, to have if you're going to be in Europe to have a, a kid in Paris. They're known for their their great, uh, I mean, health health care and yeah, health yeah. services, and um, and also there's an American hospital that's literally two blocks from where I'll be staying, which is what we will actually use. Oh, wow. And also Paris is, you know, Paris is one of the Paris, Paris, I mean, in the, in the world. And, and, uh, and, and the team is, uh, is good. They're they'll I will play in Euro cup this year. So that's, that's good. Along with, uh, what are the imports are on that team? Uh, right now we have a Will Cummings, his name. He's, uh, he, he was, he was at Oldenburg actually. Um, in 2018, 19, and he was the he was the Jalene Smith of that year. He's a oh the wow, GP and then went to uh, Locomotive Cuban in Russia, Loco in Cuban, uh, in Russia. After that, and then now he's coming, and he'll be, I guess, one of the point guards. And but after that, I'm not sure. Um, but they always get some good guys. Last your year, service and, went out for a little bit. Uh, Hello, your service went out for a little bit. It was frozen. Be good now. Yeah, I, I, we we heard um, the Jalen Smith of 2018. So he he was MVP. 
he, he was MVP of that year and then went to Russia to lo- loco, uh, locomotive Cuban or however you say it. And then, and then, um, and then now he's, he's, he's here. Um, and then, but I don't know who else is still have to sign a few people. I'm not sure who they will be Americans. I'm sure last year they had like Archie Goodwin, uh, yeah. Anthony Brown, remember him? Oh um, yeah. He at Stanford. Yeah. Uh, and, um, a big guy. Can't think, and a point guard named Brandon Brown, who's pretty good, solid. Uh, so, oh, yeah. so I, I don't know who I don't know who else it'll be, but but right now I think American wise it's just me and uh, Will Cummings. So, well, I mean, we're all room for you here. Um, we already know you young kick ass. Uh, you didn't uh, last year you was part of the fifty fifty ninety club. Yeah, I sh- yeah I was. Uh, you you and Tony Snell. Is it, is it, yeah, that's right. Well, wait, what, what was he? Uh, I'm pretty sure he was like 50 50. He was 50 50 100 for a while, and then I think he missed a free throw and by a couple threes. So, yeah, that's, that's insane. All right, well, well you and uh, Della Donna. <laughs> hey, that's a I'll, shoot. She's unbelievable. She, she shoot out the ball. I will, I will be in her club anytime, any anytime. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I shot, I shot, you know. I, I also like the Spalding TF-1000 basketball as we play with. Mm, I like that. Those are nice. They, they, they're straight. It's a shoot, shooter's ball for sure. Um, yeah. And we play with that this year again in Euro Cup, and then they have some other Spalding. But uh, we don't play with the Feebas like y'all do, I think. You play with the Moltons. Yeah, you play with the Moltons. I, I've been going from Amazon like last year. I was like, holy shit, this is <laughs> – this is the ball is awful. Yeah, I play with those in Poland. I, I Man. They were dog shit to me. I could, <laughs> and, and you know, I got these little baby hands. Oh, baby, baby hands, baby arms. T Rex arms, baby hands, like you know, all so that. that. That didn't do well for me because they get real, real slippery when sweat. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. So yes, yeah, so I shot real well. Don't know if you can. Do, I can do that again. But it, you know, I guess. Like I said, I I I, I thought that third year with the legends was gonna be my last year. But I kept kind of getting better, so the opportunities keep coming. So yeah, no, keep, 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 keep it keep rolling. That, keep collecting that check for you hiding in the and the little girl. The, the little girl. I'm having the, the girls. I'm sure you, as, as I know you know. But um, girl. yeah, I, I'm excited about that though. Looks yeah, like. man. Well, I appreciate you, Keith, for tuning in. With, uh, tuning in with me for it's, it's been an hour. Wow, just fucking just. Talking shit for a whole hour, man. So I appreciate I that. I knew I knew it would be like that. This it, 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 is a good one. So I mean, uh, do you want to say your social media outlets for for the people who watch it? It might be like four people who watch this shit, so you might get four new followers. You on the come up? It's all yeah. good. Uh, well, my Instagram is K Horns with a Z zero <laughs> four K H O R N Z O four or zero four. Um, and Twitter is this K Horns before, so it's pretty easy to follow. Um, as I know, you're the master of Twitter, so yeah, man. So I appreciate you, um, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this hour to talk to the boy. Of course, man. Always appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we have you as a special guest one day when we interview more people. I'm sure, and may- maybe Kyle will eventually. Get- Answer your call. Probably not, but hey, fuck it. I'll, I'll offer him some some water, kefir, and he'll he'll some come. fucking kefir, kefir milk. He had he had like a steak and eggs for the breakfast one time. I'm like, what the, I'm like, I'm like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah, he's on some new now. Some some like some type of powder that I. Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate it, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you, Keith, and. Uh, Everyone viewing this, I appreciate you for listening and tuning in to the Jamil Warney podcast. Say goodbye, Keith. Bye. And hi, Caroline.